it's a mild fall. So with this mild fall, giving us days of like summer, I got 10 versatile fragrances. Great for this weather. So stay right there, man. After the intro, we're gonna jump right into it. Back to doing another video. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Sam Broom back again with another video. I have 10 versatile fragrances great for this mild fall. Now having this mild fall can also mean that we're gonna have a terrible winter, a very cold winter. So I decided to give at least 10 that will go great for this type of weather. But before we do that, I need you guys to like, comment, and subscribe, share the video, all right? Share the video. Make sure you comment down below. Hit the thumbs up or the thumbs down button and make sure you let the ads run, all right? That way it don't cost you a dime. Let YouTube pay me, all right? That sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan to me. Okay, I got one other announcement. This year, 2022, yours truly, that's me, I'll be at Sin Explorer. I don't know how many guys out there that's watching will attend, but if you do, don't be afraid to come to your boy and say what's up. All that out the way, let's jump into this list. The first one, now I'm not gonna give you a lot of notes. What I'm gonna do is, like I've been doing recently, is just giving you my thoughts on it. These are all versatile fragrances, and I'm telling you, you'll get a lot out of them. Okay, first one here from Hugo Boss, Hugo Reversed. I'm gonna tell you right now, this is one of the shining lights of Hugo Boss. Trust what I'm telling you. Oh yeah, this is just so good, man. <laughs> this is just so good. It's fresh, it's clean. It's just a wonderful fragrance, man. A wonderful fragrance. You could do any and everything with this fragrance here. It's bright, it's uplifting. That's my thoughts on this fragrance. Hugo Boss, Hugo Reverse. Man, that was a good one to start off with, though, I tell you that. Okay, the next one, while well, I get this scent strip out, from the house of Dolce & Gabbana. This is one that don't get talked about often anymore, but this is Dolce & Gabbana, the one gray. The one gray. So let me tell you about this fragrance here. It has that DNA of the one, the original the one. It's solid, but it's a fresher version, a fresher take on it. It's solid, it's also clean, and it's pleasant. But again, it has that sex appeal from the original the one. This is a gorgeous fragrance as well, man. Again, don't get talked about too often no more. But if you run your your hands across this thing or you you, you get your hands on it, give it a little, little give it a little sniff. And I'm telling you, you'll like it. All right. Don't you come out of the one? Great. Moving on. This is Chanel Allure Homme Sport. Again, a versatile fragrance. That's what this list is about: being versatile. And this one, you can't get more versatile than. You have a nice citrus pop to it at the top. It's just so complete. It's complete. It's strong. It's got a nice creamy, sweet vibe to it. It's fresh. This is a timeless scent. This is just a timeless scent, period. This would never go old. Allure Ohms Sport. Damn, this is nice. That creamy sweetness, but freshness on top of that, man. And again, it has a creaminess, a creamy sweetness that you can, it'll mellow down. So say for instance, you're going on a, a, a day date. By the time you get into the, the meat and potatoes, the dinner part of it, this is gonna wind down to something that's elegant and sweet. Wheat, that gourmand taste that we love for date nights. That's what this is going to come down to. 
Chanel Allure Home Sport. Check that one out. Again, a great versatile fragrance. All right, I'm running out of space here. The next one from the house of Brioni. Now this is also can be an upscale fragrance. This is Brioni EDP. Listen, I let a few guys at the job smell us. I gave him a little, a little uh, decant of it. And I'm gonna tell you right now, he wanted the bottle, couldn't sell it to him. This is just a formal blue fragrance. All right, that's what it smells like, a very upscale blue fragrance. But you can get away with wearing this any time of the day, any situation that you're in, and pretty much in any season. Especially if you're in a, a temperature controlled environment, you can wear this in any season. All of these you can. One of the best and most elegant blue fragrances on the market. That's why I put this on this list because this is, to me, super versatile. Brioni EDP. Moving on. This one here, I did a, a collaboration video with my stepbrother. Yeah, my stepbrother, Ross Carlos. From the house of Salvatore Ferragamo. This is Ferragamo. And just like that Brioni. Oh, and look at that atomizer. Pressurized. God damn it. That's nice. Just like Brioni, a formal blue and broxen fragrance, but with a leather vibe to it. It's odd because it's leathery, it's oxonic, it's aquatic, and it's masculine all in one. If that doesn't scream versatile, I don't know what does. Yeah, leathery, ozonic, aquatic, and masculine Ferragamo god damn it's good I'm, I might have to wear this to work tomorrow I love that man that's, that's a dope scent right there dope scent and if you haven't checked out that video that me and my stepbrother did go to TLTG reviews and look it up alright trust me it's a good fragrance I gotta have a Dior on it I could have put Sauvage EDP because I think that's probably the most versatile one in the, in the bunch or parfum, but I thought this one to me is a little bit better, a little bit more elegant, as well as um, can go on that formal side of, uh, side of uh, situations as well. So from the house of Dior, this is Dior own 2020, my little baby bottle. All right, but I don't need this. I don't need more than this. This is more than enough. This one. Get rid of that. Oh, that's that Salvatore Ferragamo smells so good. That leather comes through nice. Okay, so listen. This one. Signature scent. Signature scent. Awesome. Very mainstream. <laughs> this is really good man and you know what's crazy is that it, took, it, it got a lot of heat at the beginning because it didn't have the iris note but this shows you it doesn't it don't need the iris note to be damn good again can go formal can go casual can go office like pfft, that's versatile for you signature scent an awesome fragrance mainstream or popular that's what i get out of this fragrance very versatile. Do our own. 2020. Damn. Man, I picked some dope juices right now. Just from that one, two, three, four, five. The five that I went through already. Dope juices. Well, six. I think it was six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six that I picked. And this one right here, man. This is this Ferragamo's hit right now. All right, we gotta move on though. The next one from the house of Ralph Lauren. I could have picked Ralph Club. I could have picked um, Polo Blue Parfum, but I didn't want to go that route because I think this one has a little bit more for the fall, winter, and, and it's still versatile. It can give you a little bit more punch. Polo Red EDP. Let me tell you what I think about this fragrance, because this is nice. 
perfect amount of sweetness that you would need for fall and winter, right? But not so much that it will be cloying in the spring, on the hot spring days or the summer heat. You understand what I'm saying? So basically what I'm saying is just perfect, okay? It's a perfect blend or perfect sweetness for all seasons. And it has that, that vibe of a versatile fragrance. You got like a red berry sweetness. Like I have extreme, but I think that's a little bit too much for this particular lineup. This is a versatile lineup. Where that one would be more for the, a, 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 a list for just fall, late fall, early winter. Because of the amped up sweetness because I think that was extreme or intense this one is just well rounded you know whether you're going out for dates or whether you're going to hang out with the guys at the bar this you can wear in any situation very nice next one next one is my baby all right y'all should know that by now from the house of making sense this is my baby sweeping up this is the reasoning behind this particular list all right sweeping up not only does it smell great but other people that smell it on you would think that it smells great as, as well if you haven't gotten your hands on this bottle please do so okay i'll put the link down below but this is sweeping up let me tell you something man i normally sampled the hell out of this this bottle getting people to smell it sweet like a lemon head like that sweetness from the lemon head it's bright it's a modern barbershop fragrance and it's super versatile any situation any temperature you can get away with wearing this thing here it's a beast man it's nice any situation you can get away with wearing this tell you this is a great fragrance man great get your nose on it bright uplifting modern yet old school which I'm all about making sense sweeping up check it out man all right next one because I ain't gonna spend too much time on my baby baby all right next one since i already gave my baby kids gotta move it on all right next one from the house of giorgio Armani. this is aqua digio edp i know it's a, 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 aqua digio edp it's more to this than just being aquatic okay it's more to this just being aquatic let me tell you what we what we get here this is basically a Senza and the original Aqua Digio combined. So this is the baby of the original in the Senza. Very nice, bright citrus top. It's fresh. It's got an herbal or green vibe to it. It's got some body to it. And it's just super versatile. But very, very, very bright and uplifting. Super versatile, man. Invigorating. Man, this is nice. They did a hell of a job making this thing here. If you don't have a scissor, you don't have to spend an arm and a leg with a scissor. You can buy this or actually buy Bentley, um, Bentley for men, uh, Silver Lake. But this is great. Aqua Digio EDP. Okay, time to move on. Last but not least, from the house of YSL, and that's Eve St. Laurent for some of that don't know what YSL is. This is YEDP. Look, look. This is the most versatile of the three, all right? Or the four. Very non offensive, super, super good. Great performance. 
a do it all fragrance. Casual, play, formal, date, you name it. You name it. This fragrance can do it all. Damn, this is good. Why EDP is just so good, man. This is probably the start of the line. This is probably the start of the line. All jokes aside. Because again, you can do anything with this fragrance. You don't need any, any of the other ones. If you want to wear this one in the summertime, just decrease the amount of sprays. All right? Because if not, this is going to be strong enough for any weather anyway. So, if you want to go on a date, you can use this as well. Formal, use this. Work, use it. This is just the epitome of, of versatile fragrance. This here. Very, very good. Why EDP by Yves Saint Laurent. Now look, that was 10 versatile fragrances, man, that I just gave you. Any one of these fragrances can still be purchased. Do a little research if you like, but any one of these fragrances can still be purchased. So go out there and grab some of these joints, all right? And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share the video, hit the thumbs up or the thumbs down button, and don't forget to let the ads run. And remember, your boy will be at Sin Explorer 2022. So come on up and say hello, all right? And don't forget, clean your ass, man, before you spray your fragrance on, okay? It's your boy Sam Broom signing off. Peace. Boom, 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 back to the video.